Today I'm going to walk you through using an icon view model using Rad Ribbon View. As a reminder, Rad Ribbon View is part of the Telerik Rad Controls for Silverlight and WPF control suites for .NET XAML development. In today's video, first we're going to set up a Rad Ribbon View to actually work with. Then we're going to add some icons to our project. And finally, I'm going to walk you through the view model we've created, as well as how you can hook it up to your project for easily displaying icons within your Rad Ribbon View instance. Stepping into Visual Studio, we can already see that we've created a new project with a little bit of code, so I'll walk you through what we've done so far. For starters, I used the Telerik Visual Studio extensions, so we know we have Telerik Windows Controls, Input, Navigation, and Ribbon View, and didn't have to fuss over which of those we actually needed to get Ribbon View implemented. Next up, you can see that we already have a Rad Ribbon View with a title, an application name, as well as a tab with a ribbon group, and three buttons displayed. This is a pretty good setup, but of course, these would look a lot better if we had some icons which brings us to the images directory. I've gone ahead and pulled some application icons from our demos, which you can do the same for your application, or you can go about finding icons anywhere else that you need to online. But for the sake of this example, we have some icons that are 32 pixel by 32 pixel, as well as 16 by 16. So we have both the large and small image sizes covered, so we can see them both in action in the application. But of course, we're gonna need some way to actually display these icons where we need them in the ribbon view and anywhere else, like in a drop down menu. So for this, we have the icon view model. Taking a quick look at the icon view model, it's actually a pretty simple implementation. What we do is give public strings for the different icons that we want to be able to display. So for our case, we see save32, which would intuitively be the 32 by 32 save icon, similar for open, new, properties. As we scroll down, we can see bookmark32, and then we have color16, copy16, and cut16. Now you may notice all these are using this getPath method, which just throws in the name of the actual PNG we want to display. So if you scroll down, get path is hiding away the actual path name for our component. So don't really need to know the name of the project, the component images. All we need to know is the name of the icon, and this get path will take care of the rest for us. Nice little way to abstract away all that code, plus prevents you from having to retype or recut and paste this little line in every single one of these returns for the strings. But of course, now we have our view model, now we have our images, we need some way to display this within Rad Ribbon View. This brings us back to our main page. We'll go into user control dot resources. And since we already have our local namespace defined right here, we can set a local icon view model. And we want to give it an X key because it'll be referenced. X icon VM. Now within the layout root of our application, we can set our data context to this static resource, X icon VM. And of course, you may have more elaborate view models going, so you can actually just set this to the Red Ribbon View if you wanted. The option is totally there for you. And now that we have this view model, we can actually utilize the binding system to set up some images. But scrolling down into our Ribbon View, you'll notice something slightly different in our implementation. Previously, you may have seen the content being set for ribbon buttons. Realistically, content is what's displayed smack in the middle of a button, but because we're using some enhanced buttons, we have the option to also do, instead of content, text plus an icon. In our case, save, open, and new are meant to be larger buttons, so we want to use large icons. So we go ahead and set the size property on all of these. And next step, we want to set the large image to binding. And for save, we know we want save 32. If we do similar for open, do large image equals binding, open 32. And don't worry, Visual Studio is complaining, but this is completely valid. Finally, for new, we say large image, binding, new 32. Now, like I said, Visual Studio is complaining a little bit here, but this is perfectly valid because what we're doing is binding to the path of where these images are located. So if I go ahead and run this right now, we're actually going to see, and trust me, the designer will update when we get back to it, but we'll see in Internet Explorer that we now have three buttons that additionally have images displayed. And the nice thing is, all we had to do is know the name that we're utilizing on the view model, not the image location or any of that, because the view model abstracts that away. But the really cool thing, if I go ahead and close this up, I have a section that I can uncomment in our application. Get our XAML displaying a little bit better. And I'll go ahead and uncomment this additional Rad Ribbon group I already worked up. Scroll down, we have a Visual Studio to catch up with us. Uncomment this, and now we can see we have another group. This one has a bookmark button, as well as a drop down button with properties as the text. What I'll do here is go ahead and show this to you, and then I'll show you how we actually utilize the same view model to handle the drop down Rad Menu icons that are going to be displayed. So we'll spin up Internet Explorer one more time. Now that IE is loaded, we can see we have the save, open, and new as expected. Bookmark and properties are both displaying their icons, 
but under properties we have a rad menu that's showing color cut and copy. Now of course you're probably wondering how do these icons get here? Well it's actually really really simple. Because of how we set up Red Menu, the icon can really be any arbitrary content. So if you have a path, if you have a visual, if you have a user control, you could use that as the icon. So as we see in the previous example, the Red Ribbon button uses the large image, binding straight to the bookmark 32 string that's getting its entire information from the get path method. Same with properties. But once we go into our Red Menu, we can see that we're setting the Red Menu, Red Menu item, then Red Menu item dot icon is actually an image with source bound to that same kind of string value, the same setup as we have for the ribbon buttons. So effectively, any icons that you need in your application, you can have displayed through this method, and you only ever have to worry about the references that sit within the view model. And of course, you can go one step further. If you want to turn this into an enumeration or some other thing to make it really, really type safe, this option is completely valid for that. But this is just a quick and simple way to tie your icons to a view model to make it a little easier to manage them for your application, which of course is a lot less XAML you have to end up typing. So I hope you've seen how beneficial it can be to utilize an icon view model in your Rad Ribbon View implementations, and definitely stay tuned for more videos in this series to see more of the fantastic things you can do with this powerful control in your line of business application.